12, Zach Vanderbeek in the 33Z and Eric Lamb round out the field. 30 laps the distance. We are underway. Firing off here from Ogilvy. Mod Wars underway. Jake Tim, cowboy up, had her up on two wheels. Gathers her back in, holding on to that second spot. Rodney Sanders taking a look to the inside. Oh, hold on, everybody. They got handfuls of steering wheel out there tonight as we get that first lap in the book. And who else would it be but Lakeshore, Minnesota's Dan Ebert out to the race lead. A stacked field coming at you right now as Jake Tim and Rodney Sanders doing battle. Jake Tim into that second spot comfortably now. Long on the top side, going to close that door. Now O'Neill goes one lane lower than Phillips in one and two. They're side by side down the back chute. Jake O'Neill going to drive her in deep and let her eat. Slides the whole right rear up to the cush. He's going to take that spot. Jake O'Neill now cruising into the top four. Going to try to run down the rocket Rodney Sanders as Rodney Sanders trying to gain up on the leaders as now Dan Ebert gets himself into some lap traffic. Lap traffic as we lose one off the back chute there. The 89 machine of JT Johnson pulls in down the back stretch. But keeping my eyes on the leader. Dance a hope to the 49 machine. Tim, he's visited Victory Lane for Mod Wars several times. Oh, Lavasser, hold on to it in front of the leaders. That's going to bunch him up. Ebert gets slowed up, moves up the track. Here comes Jake Tim. Jake Tim now slides into the race lead. Your current point leader now finds himself out front of this one. Ebert was the bearer of bad news on that one. Got caught up as Lavasser had problems on the 99L. But now Ebert battling back through the bumps on the bottom side. Gets her cruising back upstairs as that battle might not go away. Track lots of grooves and lots of cars in front of the race leaders here as Terry Phillips now off the speedway in the 75. Jake Tim trying to work through. Now look at this, Rodney Sanders going to challenge for that second spot. Jake O'Neill's right there as well. Sanders looks to the bottom. Sanders trying to move into the second spot. He might have it cleared this time. No. Ebert back by. Now Ebert going to shut the door on the... Oh, contact between the race leader and Hobshite. Now Sanders and O'Neill might get caught up as well. Heartbreak for the 49 of Jake Tim as he was leading that one. Bottom into that second spot. The 24C gets around Rodney Sanders. Sanders battles back at the line. But now Chisholm smells it. He got right beside Dan Ebert that time through three and four. But here we go, Hocha Town Saloon. It's the last call. The white flag comes out. This one's still up in the air. Rodney Sanders trying to get a run on Dan Ebert. Ebert goes up to the top side. Chisholm now looking on the bottom down the back street. Here we go, a drag race now. Two more left-hand turns. Dan Ebert trying to get it in. Chisholm goes upstairs, gets a little love tap from Randy, Rodney Sanders. And Dan Ebert brings it home tonight on night number one of I agree it's uh I always say it's so hard to lead races and um uh a lapper there kind of got crossed up in front of me and I lost my run over there and I got a little tight and Jake got me but it was easier for me to follow him I could try some different lines up and down and I didn't see what happened to him down here um but uh Man, what a, what a fun race. That's so dang much fun. These races are so hard to win, and we work so hard to do this. It's, um, it just uh, it makes it all worth it. You know, all your years on the road and learning these tires, you've talked so much about learning these tires, and you're in a brand of race car that a lot of people run out here on the tour that, that's catered for this. Uh, do you feel like it all pays off when you can kind of come back home and, and really compete and contend? You would think it would. Uh, historically, with open stuff, USMTS stuff, I haven't run the greatest here. Uh, with Soto stuff, I've been pretty good on Hoosier tires, but uh, it's taken me a little while. The track had some character and some grip tonight, which tends to suit my style. So um, uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple nights. But man, I, it's uh, doesn't matter if you're going across the line backwards or you got a half a track on them. It's uh, to win these is huge.